What's up YouTube? Here's my next video regarding Amazon Relay. This is going to be a quick tour of the Amazon Relay load board, how to post a truck, and how to book a load right off the load board. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the Relay app. Once it opens, go to the left hand top corner of the three bars, tap on that, tap on load board. Once it opens up, there's always like little tips and stuff here, and they're always encouraging people to post a truck and submit your availability. So we'll just go to search. And there's always a message here also, congratulations, you've unlocked early access. You need to have a score of, I believe, 90% 90, 90 or above to have early access to loads. If you don't have early access, the, the high enough score, there'll be a message here instead telling you to improve your score so that you can have access to more loads. But we'll uh, go to search. And over here on the left the right hand side the three bars with the two on it tap on that and it opens up the search screen and we have our, our different work types we have a block a one way and a round trip a block is usually 13 to 37 hours either 13 or 37 hours i should say um, the only thing that is displayed on the load board for a block is the starting location the starting time the ending time and a block almost always brings you back to the same exact starting location. So if you start at PHX1, um, which is an Amazon warehouse here in Phoenix, you'd return to PHX1. Um, if you booked a, a, a block load for, let's say, $1,500, um, you, you mo most likely will get quite a bit more than $1,500 for load. They, they only show the total payout. They never show mileage because you have no idea they actually don't have any idea of how many stops you're going to do or what kind of mileage you're going to do at the time they put the block up um, to book it isn't until i believe 24 hours before the load departs that's when they actually fill in all the work but so then they add fuel sur fuel surcharges tolls whatever so a $1,500 block could actually end up paying out $2,000 to $2,200 $2,400 but, but that's a block. A one-way is pretty self-explanatory. You're going to start on one location. You're going to end in, at another location. It could be a different city. It could be in the same city. But it just, if you start at PHX 1, um, you might end at PHX 6. Uh, and that could have numerous stops on it also. A round trip, that just means that it's going to bring you right back to the same facility that you started at. So if you start at PHX 1, you will end at PHX, at PHX 1. Um, but we will search... For a round trip and a one way from Mesa, and we'll put to anywhere for the destination. Start time, start date, you could follow it in, we'll leave that blank. Any stops, driver type, solo or team, we'll select solo. Trip length, you can search for. Trip length, you can either search for time or distance. We'll leave that blank. And then trailer status provided means you are using an Amazon, uh, an Amazon trailer. Required means you're bringing your own trailer. So if you're searching for box truck work, you need to put required. And the equipment that you need to select is 26, 26 foot box truck or 26 foot truck. Uh, if you're using an Amazon trailer, you select provided. And even though they have this whole entire list of equipment, the only two trailers that Amazon uses is a 53 foot trailer which is a dry van or a 53 foot container. But we will only search for the 53 foot trailer right now. Load type, you have the option of a live load or a drop and hook. You can also search for price per mile, total payout, and then certifications are the only certification they ever require for anything is rail, railway certifications to move their rail cars, the, the containers. We'll submit this and we'll see what comes up. So here's what we have up here at the top where it says start date. You can actually um, organize your your search results by by different things. The default is always the nearest start date, but you can do price per mile highest, per distance highest, the shortest mileage. Uh, we we'll, yeah we'll, we'll just leave it at the uh, price per distance highest. I'll pause this screen so it stops changing on us. And some of the little key factors on this screen are these lightning bolts, these little turquoise lightning bolts right there, that indicates that that load is eligible for next day pay. So this load finishes 
completes on Monday at 8.40 in the morning, you would get paid for this load the next day, Tuesday, by, by the end of the day. Most Amazon loads, if you clean, complete them by Saturday at midnight, they pay out Wednesday that following week. So this load, you get paid at least a day, actually uh, almost a week early on, on this one because since they, it wouldn't get paid out until regularly Saturday would be the closing um, payday for that. The other thing, which I don't see any of them on these loads, is a little black padlock. Oh, right here is one. This little black, back, black padlock right there next to the 167. That indicates early access. So not everybody can see this load. Only people with the score 90 and above or whatever whatever the, the cutoff is with, with Amazon for score-wise. Some other things to look at on these loads. Uh, let's find one with multiple stops. This one right here. A black circle like this, the solid black circle next to the 53-foot trailer, that indicates that you are picking up a, a loaded trailer, a white filled-in circle, that indicates that you are picking up an empty trailer. But other than that, um, it always has a, a scheduled arrival time, scheduled departure time. Um, that's pretty much it for, for booking, a, booking a load with Amazon. So the, the only other thing is, is that unlike some other websites, load boards, JB Hunt, Schneider, whatever, where you can bid on work, there is no bidding on work. You you book this load. They have it listed at six ninety four. That's the price you book it at. I mean, you could wait a little bit longer, closer to the to the arrival scheduled arrival at the facility, the three hundred three, and they might raise the price on it. They could lower the price sometimes, but there is no calling them up. There is no bidding on the, on the load. I mean, if you want that load right now, you book it for for six ninety four. The other option is to post a truck. That's the closest type of way of uh, bidding on work and it's very similar you just go to this other screen over here post a truck up at the top on the right side submit availability and the screen for submitting availability is very very similar to the screen for you know your search criteria for, for booking work fill in all the all the um, the options um, for box truck work like I said they only offer one way so um, that'd be it. And the one key thing with, with Amazon Relay, if you submit your availability, again, it's not like a normal load board where they're going to send you a message and be like, congratulations, we've accepted your, your availability or here's a load we have for you. They will automatically put the work on you. If there's, if there's work that matches your, your criteria for, for this, this search, they're going to put it on you. So if you only have one truck, um, definitely don't overlap, um, your, your availability. Don't, don't double search you know, a, a one-way trip and a, and a round trip or something like that because if there's if they have loads that match, they're going to put two loads on you and then you won't be able to do them both at the same time. But, yeah, for the most part, that's that's what the Amazon Relay load board looks like. So, uh, hopefully this is helpful. And if it is, make sure to like and subscribe. Awesome. Everybody, have a great day. Thanks. Bye.